What you wrote and why? Uh, shit. Pain free, clarity, health, love, and babies. Um, damn, I'm getting emotional. Been in pain for a long, long time, man. So hopefully this helps and I feel somewhat normal again. So that's why I wrote those things. May 14, 2007, I was in Iraq and my vehicle was struck with a deep buried IED. Uh, as a result of it, I sustained 75% burns to the body, had my leg amputated below the knee on the right, and um, I think I'm up to 103 surgeries since. 103. 103. Having to deal with infections, it's, it's a, man, I bump myself into anything, I start bleeding, but the main, main thing I would have to say is the constant infections. You know, your skin, since it's a, it's a thick, scar at some points it starts to tighten up so it moves your body left to right and it brings it in so you constantly have to have surgeries to release scar bands and just to make sure overall that you know you don't get into the wrong places and then you're down for a couple of weeks because there was something in the water and gave you an infection or there was something around you that might have caused it so that, that's honestly the biggest pain is infections we've been together five years um we started dating back in 2016 and um, six months into our relationship just dating he had his first well actually he had his foot amputated um six months in it really became real <laughs> when he had that surgery because that was a, it was a big deal why am i here um just all the amazing things that i've heard from other people what it's done for them how it's helped them The day before I had the surgery, I went to tie my shoes and I was locked in pain. A seven out of 10, it was bad. After the surgery, I could reach down and touch my toes with no pain. My recovery, I can tell you, I used to get up in the morning and barely get out of bed, you know, I'm training with guys 18 to 25 years old, and now I could pop up out of bed and my recovery is amazing, and my shoulders, I don't have any pain. The very next day I woke up at the hotel I got out of bed and stood on my feet and I was like, wait a minute, what what just happened? I don't feel any pain, They're like it's gone. But yeah, I have no pain right now, virtually no pain. I can stand um, on my wheelchair without any crutches. Still having a hard time standing up straight and walking, but that used to take me five minutes just to mentally prep to get up. Man, just being in pain for so long, you know, I've gotten used to it, and I live life with pain every single day. So when I heard that this could potentially take it all away or take a fraction away, um, you know, it got me going because I've done almost everything you can think of back in the States through the VA and through regular doctors, and sometimes it's, it's a quick fix, but it comes back, you know what I mean? So it's, it's just been chronic pain, um, having to deal with the burns and everything else that comes with the injury. Um, and it, you know, you get to a point where you're frustrated, you no longer want to do or find a, a, a solution, especially over there. And then you hear about something like this and it just got, you know, my ears all perked up and I'm like, I, I want to do this. So today we got 50 million more stem cells, uh, just to kind of close it out with that. And uh, you know, I'm feeling the energy right now. <laughs> Honestly, I'm like, let's go for a walk. Um, inflammation went down last night, which was awesome. A little headache, that's about it. But other than that, um, notice the swelling going down a little bit, like my prosthetic was falling off my leg. Um, and then got a little bit of clarity, to be honest with you. Like I was kind of focusing on a lot of things that I normally just kind of block out and I don't know, I'm excited to see what these 50 are gonna do. Such a surreal experience, man, just to to look at these people that live in poverty and they're happy and they 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 love life and you know they really don't make any excuses, they just 
put their head down, they go to work, work hard, provide for their families, and they do it all with a smile on their face. Every single person we ran into was super nice, super loving, caring, open hands. I mean, it's just, it amazes me that, uh, that this, there should be more places like this all throughout the world. Honestly, the inflammation in my body has gone down. I don't feel as bloated as I do when I wake up in the mornings. Um, we went and walked uh, como una trece, and usually like something going uphill and downhill like that will take a toll on my body at the end of the day. We came back, I feel fine. Like I feel like I had energy to keep going. Um, but the biggest thing that I've noticed so far is the inflammation has gone down a lot. I just want um, a better quality of life for him. Like he said, I want him to feel a little more normal. You know, just to feel a little bit normal again, not to have pain, not to worry if I'm gonna push my body too hard because I tend to do it a lot. And then I'm down for a few days because I'm either hurting, sore, um, or just out of energy. So I, I hope to get a lot of energy out of this. To, bang, uh, to be pain-free and to feel a little normal.